Welcome to the Open Heavens Daily Devotional of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Oklahoma City. The Open Heavens Daily Devotional is written by our Father in the Lord, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Pastor E. A. Adeboye. Uh, today, the 19th of March, we will we'll be starting another series. Uh, it's, the series is titled The Fire. So today, it's, uh, the topic of our devotional is The Fire Part 1. But before we go into God's Word, let's just pray. A word, let's say a word of prayer. Father Lord, uh, we once again want to thank you uh, for yet another opportunity to see a brand new day. God, as we are starting our day, our morning in your presence, and as we are feasting on your word, that God open our eyes and nourish our spirits in the name of Jesus. That God, as your word will be coming out, that God, whatever needs to be changed, whatever needs to be consumed, whatever needs to be refined, whatever needs to be burnt, whatever needs uh, to, uh, to be changed for good in our lives, that God will pray your word will come out and change and refine us and renew us in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for in Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Once again, the topic is the fire, the fire part one. And our memory verse is taken from the book of Acts of Apostles, chapter 2, verse 3. Acts of Apostles, chapter 2, verse 3. Here is an I quote, and there appeared unto them cloven tongues like a as of a fire, and it sat upon each of them. It sat upon each of them as God has actually promised. The I want us to realize uh, from this memory verse that the promise that God gave and actually has spoken came to pass because they actually cooperated with God and they listened and they heeded to his instruction to actually carry uh, in his presence. A Bible passage is from the book of Acts of Apostles chapter, from, uh, chapter 2 from verses 1 to 3. Here the apostles tarried in Jerusalem as Jesus Christ has actually instructed them to before they can embark on an assignment and the Holy Spirit descended mightily upon them as fire. I want us to realize in this uh, Bible passage that because they were equipped with the Holy Spirit, because they were equipped with the potent power from on high, they became potent. If you want your life to be potent, if you want your spiritual life to be potent, if you want everything about you to be potent, you need to tap your strength from that potent and powerful one. A memory verse for today tells us straight away that there is a link between the Holy Spirit and fire. In Exodus chapter 3, verse 2, the Spirit of God spoke to Moses as fire burning in a bush. This was no ordinary fire, as the bush was not consumed. In Hebrews chapter 1, verse 7, which said, and the angel, and of the angel he said, Who maketh his angel spirit and his minister a fire of flame? Every believer is a minister. Every believer, that is God's plan. Every believer is meant to be a minister. God does not want us to remain where we are. You are a minister. It doesn't mean that you might occupy an office in the ministry to be a minister. You are a minister. Whether in the ministry or in the marketplace, you are a minister. And God is saying that he made his minister a fire of flame. God wants you to be a fire of flame. God wants you to be potent. God does not want you to be pushed around. God wants you to stand on your authority as, your, as a believer. And the only way you can stand on your authority as a believer is you knowing your authority and actually tapping into the strength which he is about to uh, impact on you. Hebrews chapter 12 verse 29 says, Our God is a consuming fire. This verse is talking about the Holy Spirit. For you to fully understand this aspect of the Holy Spirit, let's look at 1 King chapter 18, verse 38. Then the fire of the Lord fell and consumed the burnt sacrifice, and the wood and the stool and the dust, and licked up the water that was in the trench. When the fire came, the fire burnt something. The fire changed some things. You see, when the fire of the Lord comes upon you, when the power of the Lord comes upon you, when the hand of the Lord uh, rests upon you, there are some things in your life that will be changed. There are some things that uh, cannot go with you to the place where God is about to take you. And it's important for us to cooperate with Him. And when you cooperate with Him, and when those things are shed off, God will refine you and you become brighter, you become sharper, and you will be able to be much more potent to carry out the assignment He has for you. When Elijah prayed, 
and fire fell from on high. It consumed the offering, the wood, the stone, leaped up the water and dust around about the altar. This is certainly no ordinary fire. The fire of the Lord will descend upon you in the name of Jesus and you become potent for him in the name of Jesus. When you see a man who has the fire, tread gently around him. Do not take the presence of God for granted. Do not take the potency and the power of God for granted. Ananias and Sapphira were careless with the fire and paid with their lives. The fire also must not be grieved. When Jesus says that blaspheming against the Holy Spirit will not be forgiven, it is because the Holy Spirit is fire and carelessness can be fatal. That is why I pity with people who fake speaking in tongues and joke with it. If only they knew who they are toying with, they will never try that. The fire of the Holy Spirit is not the exclusive right of a limited number of people. If, once again, the fire of the Holy Spirit is not the exclusive right of a limited number of people. It is for every individual who is willing to pay the price. It's for every individual who is willing to eat to his instruction. It's for every individual who is willing to cooperate with him. The scripture says that God is not a respecter of person. And the scripture also says that we we are also like uh, men of uh we we also we also as individuals, if the people of old could do this, we also can also do such things that they have done. When we cooperate with him to be able, when we cooperate with God, God will be able to use us to do great and mighty things. So the fire of the Holy Spirit is not the exclusive right of a limited number of people. You too can carry the fire of, the God, of God if you are willing. It was not only the apostles, it was all not only the twelve that were equipped with fire from one heart. The twelve and the other 120 people that actually carry uh, in Jerusalem, including Mary, the mother of Jesus Christ, and even Jesus' brothers. It was not only the apostles that were in the upper room when the fire of the Holy Spirit came, but it rested on every single one of them, including Mary, the mother of Jesus, and his brothers. Acts of Apostles, chapter 1, from verses 13 to 14. The fire of the Holy Spirit can come upon you if you, only you can lead a life of intense prayer and supplication. If you are willing to pay the price, if you are willing to go on your knees, if you are willing to uh, tarry with him, if you are willing to spend time with him, if you are willing to go extra mile with God, God will deposit that treasure in you. The question is this, we as believers, are we willing to pay the price? Are we willing to be intimate with him? Are we willing to go the extra mile and actually heed to Christ's instruction? Tarry in Jerusalem. Don't even consider Carrying out the assignment. Yes, it's an assignment I want you to carry out. It's an assignment ahead of is This is the assignment that I've planned. And this is the assignment that's ahead of you. I want you to do this. But don't even try that without you being equipped from power from on high. Without you spending time with him. And each and every one of us, whatever your assignment might be, whatever your responsibilities might be, I want us to realize that when we tarry with Christ, when we dwell with Him, when we tabernacle in His presence, God will make your life a shining and a shining and a bright light in the name of you. You become the light of the world, and God's glory will be manifested through you. So, uh, the key point for this morning devotional is: the fire of the Holy Ghost is available to all who can pay the price in intense prayer. And supplication. Are you willing to pay the price? As you pay the price of intense prayer and supplication, the fire of the Almighty God will descend mightily upon you in the name of Jesus. Let's pray. Father Lord, we thank you once again for how you've uh, ministered unto us, for how you've revealed yourself unto us. The God will pray in the name of Jesus that as we pay the price of intense prayer and supplication, that let your hand rest mightily upon us in the name of Jesus. Let us be endued with power from on high. Let us be a manifestation of your will in the name of Jesus. That the fire of the Almighty God will emanate through us and will carry the assignment which you've given unto us with power and precision in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for in Jesus' name we have prayed. I hope you are blessed by today's devotional. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Have a blessed day.